The big crowd trying to get behind witness, the British champions trying to urge them on, roar them on. They've really got to move this ball out wider through two or three pairs of hands and strike about 30, 40 yards away from the acting half-back position. Looking at this game, Ray, really, there's uh, witness look as though they're desperately lacking pace. I mean, in our game, they're running riots, but uh, on this game, they're being, being made to look very, very ordinary. The sixth tackle. Back to Davis. And this is the only way that witness uh, actually getting into the Canberra half. Ferguson again, beats one man, beats two men, beats three men, beats four men. Well, very, very poor tackling there. But it's Canberra on the attack again. That's better. That's a good tackle from Richard Ayres. To Dean Lance. Not a very big forward by Australian standards. Steve Walters. It's it's daily. And the sixth tackle. Witness must hold out here. For Stewart. Oh, that's a good pass. Still going. And that's the handover. But all credit to Canberra. No safety first. Move the ball out wide. Bradley Clyde there, number 13, just couldn't hold it. And offside. Huge roar from the crowd. The first offside and a uh, good run by Tony Myler. Now then, he's got some space, but a good tackle by Gary Belcher. And suddenly, witness, look as if they're doing something. To Richard Ayres, but there's no support there. That's better. David Hume. Tate. Good tackle there by Steve Jackson. Witness best spell, Phil McKenzie. Oh, beautiful pass from Davis. Courier. An outstanding season in Australia. This is more like the witness we know. Pike. I think though, Ray, they're going to uh, crack this Canberra defence. They've got to move the ball about. You cannot play these fellas down the middle. The tackle is Grimmer, so that's good. a good ball to Hume. He's going for the line and he's there. Oh yes, good try. That's the true witness from Paul Hume. Witness let the ball go. Open it out to the ranks. And this hard-working lad played half-back. Played hooker in the third test in 88 for Great Britain. Pulls witness back in the game. 12 points to four now. Good support play. That's more like the witness we've been accustomed to see over the past 12 months. And maybe they've said, Ray, we've had enough of the belting. Let's get back to playing with the way we can play. This is good driving football, good support play. The two Humes here, David and Paul Hume. A lovely little ball here. He can't believe his luck. And that's just what Witness needed. Jonathan Davis, his first kick of the match not an easy one 27 yards out well to the left touch line you're hoping to flight this round oh it looks good no just gone so 12 points to four but at last witness showing a little fall Well, you've got to watch, uh, this is the try here, this is a magnificent try here, Grimmer does his work here, drives the ball in, now it's the release that's very important, David Hume and brotherly love, here it comes, and that's a good try, and very, very important for witness. So, Canberra. And I do think that witness should learn a lesson from that try, Alec, that they do have speed out wide there, don't they? Well, I think uh, Ray, to be quite honest, if you said this was a boxing match, it'd have been stopped in the first five minutes. But uh, Witness have got back up off the floor and really they're taking part in this game now. 
And Monsieur Desplat, right on the spot again, very, very firm with his decisions. A lot of needle in this in this match, a lot of Australian uh, Great Britain rivalry off the field, a lot of hype associated with it, and a lot of nervous players. I think Goodness have just got to hold the ball, hold the ball for a spell. Sorensen. That was a bad pass to receive. Davis. Just couldn't get away. Oh, he's lost it. <laughs> a hand vainly clutched out there, but he couldn't hold it. You see Jonathan Davis here. Everybody on the ground waits to see this fella have the ball. But just look at the Australians. They know what he can do. And I'll tell you what, they know what they're going to do with him if they got the chance. No on. The New Zealand test team who are touring Great Britain at the moment travelled across from their headquarters at York to watch this game. That's a good heel. Now it's got to go out. Alan Tate looking for the gap. Good tackle. Copybook tackle there by standoff Chris O'Sullivan. Tony Myler to Pike. To Paul Hume. I get the feeling now, Ray, that if Witness hold this ball and play with the ball and take Canberra on, one or two of these lads may have a little bit of jet lag and may be feeling the pinch a little bit. Suddenly, Alec, there are gaps opening up out wide in this uh, green defence. David Hume to a fire. Oh, he's away! Back to Mackenzie. A fire. And the sixth tackle. Alan Tate looking for a high one. It's a good one. Belcher's underneath it. He's missed it. Play on. It's Tate again. It's the sixth tackle they've got to pass. And a let off there for the Raiders. Offside there uh, from Witness. Monsieur Dupla, I think responsible for a very open game here he's keeping the two sides well apart and Canberra certainly a resilient side the only side ever to win the Australian grand final by figuring in the playoffs outside the top three